Oh, I said it yesterday regarding taking profits. I said if it doesn't break 63 cents again, it's going to sell off. And I asked you in yesterday's video, you going to take some XRP profits? But let's go a step further and figure out if we've got more room to go. Short answer. Hell yeah, we got more room to go, and I'm going to share with you the reasons why, along with some positive news that I've been telling everyone about, and we got confirmation on it. What's up, crypto chicks and dudes? I'll tell you what's up. Didn't hold that 63 cent mark, sold off, but I've got good news for you because I don't think we're close to being done yet. Heat map? No. Viewers' comments come first. J. Cole says, choo-choo, it's heading back to the station. That's right, and I'm going to tell you exactly why it's heading back to the station and why I think it might leave the station again. VR Fanatic dropping some support on the channel. Thank you very much, sir. VR says, there's only two crypto channels you need to focus on. They both give you everything you need to know and are both nothing but the facts. Crypto Crew University charts us awry in facts in the movement of BTC, aka the heart of the movement with the market. Crypto with Klaus, non-biased factual news with no horseshit. Klaus brings you the facts, happy or sad, but you'll be glad. Both of these channels are non-sponsored. One is the news, one is the charts. If you combine both of these, you will do well in the market. Thank you, VR Chat Fanatic. And I'm telling you right now, this was the easiest thing to call yesterday. I'm going to show you exactly what I saw, why I said what I said yesterday about taking profits. Oh, Ripple Traders take over $111 million in profits in six days. Told you. But I think we got more. Why? We're going to get to it. Bitcoin sitting at 64,783, E3476, BNB almost at 600 again. Telling you there's lots of pumping going on, lots of ops. Soul at 160 XRP, deep in the red, sitting at 58 cents. Looking to see if we can get back above that 60 cent mark. I'll share with you why. XLM, large retreat as well, sitting at 10.3 cents. Now, I was one of the very few YouTube news channels out there telling you, don't worry about Mt. Gox. Mt. Gox is nothing you got to worry about. Most of these people are not going to liquidate their BTC once they get it. Now, in the comments, some of you out there were like, bro, Mt. Gox is going to melt the market to the ground. Oh, girlfriend, do I got something for you. Reddit survey reveals the majority won't sell Bitcoin after the Mt. Gox payout. Despite the widespread fear that the release of Mt. Gox compensation to BTC would lead to a massive soft, the poll results indicate otherwise. Oh shit, Klaus knows what he's talking about. Only 88 participants mentioned said they would liquidate their entire Bitcoin holdings. Another 68 respondents stated they would sell between 1 to 25%. Meanwhile, 26% said they would offload between 25 and 50%. But the overwhelming majority said they do not plan. Listen to this. Out of the 467 participants in the survey regarding Mt. Gox payouts, 260 indicated they do not plan to sell. So 55% are hodling, not selling a damn thing. Told you so. There's a lot of optimism in the market. So if you're getting your BTC, are you like, whoa, okay, if there's optimism, I want to sell. No, if there's optimism, you're like, bro, I'm going to ride this hot pony. We've got election cycle, Torres, rates coming down, global geopolitical shifts. This is good stuff. Now, what caused the price correction? Well, first things first, let's step back. What caused the price to pump? Well, it was a little bit of Sunshine Act stuff. And look, they do these meetings all the time. It has nothing to do with Ripple. But speculation with Torres and all that caused this massive pump, okay, that you're seeing from here to here. It just rocketed this thing on up and the closer and closer we got the more you can see that people were like yo we're into this Torres resolution soon and I saw this I said look it hit 63.5 and retreated and in yesterday's video yeah go back and fact check me I got a smile on my face I know what I said I said look if we don't break that 63.5 and hold it we're going to sell off look what happened we hit that 63.5 twice, couldn't hold it. And as soon as we broke through on that 62 cent candlestick, that was it, knew exactly what was going to happen. And then you see it right here, clear as day. We blew through 60 cents. Uh, get my point. But let's keep on going. So the market pumped on anticipation of potential settlement news. So think of the price of XRP and how much it grew just based on speculation. So it would make sense that if the meetings are canceled, that speculation bubble would deflate, right? Well, yeah, 
But we still got Taurus resolution coming. That's what I'm saying. It's not over, everyone. It's just this speculative hype that was built right now popped. That's okay. It is far from being over. SEC stuff, yeah, it's all linked down in the description below. As VR Fanatic says, I bring the facts, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad. All right, let's get some more facts. Ripple traders take over 111 million profits in six days. XRP price crumbles under selling pressure. Listen to this. Traders took over 111 million profits between July 12th and 18th. XRP raised 7% of its value on Thursday, holding at around 58 cents. Why? Well, we already talked about it. Why? Big pump thinking there would be a settlement. Deflation on the cancellation of the meeting. But what has really changed? Nothing. We're actually a day closer to Torres resolution than we were yesterday when the price was at 63 cents. But now you've got a better idea of some resistance points on the market. 63 cents, 63.5, more specifically in that range, is where we need to break through to sustain the momentum. It's all short-term plays, right? That's what this is all about. Short-term momentum, buying into this, right? Buy the rumor, sell the news, play the game, dips and tips, you got to make some money. Now, Importantly enough, look at this. We saw a double bottom right here. And if we can hold on this double bottom of 57 cents, we have to then start thinking about that 57 to 60 cent range. More specifically, 58, 58, 5 to 60, 60 60.5. We hold around there. We could build back up again and make another move. So think about this, all right? What is so different from XRP yesterday to now? Okay, the SEC's meeting was canceled. Cool. They're not going to settle with Ripple anyways. They're going for the jugular. So this was a speculative play. This wasn't a factual news play. No, this was a speculative play by traders saying, look, there's an SEC meeting. We think it's about XRP, so we're going to buy on that. No, no. But if you knew exactly why this play was happening, you knew you could take some profits safely. And VR chat fanatic had it right. That is why I bring you the news, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad, so you can see what's really happening and why the market is doing what it's doing. The market is based on some factual stuff, but it's also based on a ton of emotion. And that's what we saw recently when it came to XRP. The meetings that the SEC has, they have them all the time. And for those of you in the know, those of you that have been following the channel closely know there ain't no way that the SEC is going to settle now. They're not going to go through this whole thing for years and years and years only to settle at the last second. No, they want the jugular. Think about it. The SEC asked for $2 billion in their initial penalty. $2 billion. Does that sound like someone that wants to settle? Hell no. That sounds like someone who wants to finish someone off. So all you have to do is understand what is factual and what is hype and FOMO related. Once that FOMO bubble didn't come true in regards to the meeting and especially the cancellation of the meeting, then all that energy was taken out of the FOMO run. And then what happened? We went back to factual action. That's why XRP hasn't crashed harder. It's because the market is still going, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no meeting with the SEC today, but dude, Taurus has still got a rule soon, right? Yes, she does. And just remember, Every second, every minute, every day that goes by, you are that much closer to the Torres resolution. And once that resolution happens, there's no more storm cloud hanging over XRP, is there? So now I'm going to ask you another question, and I want to know down below what you think. How soon will we see the Torres resolution, and will XRP run up again on anticipation as it builds and builds and builds as every day we get a day closer to being done with this crap. Now today I'm getting back to working out. I've got the watermelon hydration, a little salted watermelon going on in the cup. I'm gonna shoot some hoops today, maybe lift a little bit. My legs aren't 100%, but I need to get back into it because I've got a 100K mountain race coming up. Pretty cool stuff. Now up on the screen, I've got my second channel along with the video I made in regards to that 100K training. Check it out. It's free to subscribe and it helps a channel out. 
Thank you again to everyone for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. This is not a sponsored channel. No, I am not giving you biased news based on what people pay me. I get paid by you via views with YouTube. No bias there. I'll catch you cool cats later. Choo-choo, bitches.